Hello, it's Fred and Sheila McCoy, Hatfield McCoy Museum, uh, fredmccoy.com, hatfieldsmccoysmuseum.com. Both of them take you to the same website, just different pages. This is going to be another segment of Keeping It Real. And what Keeping It Real is, is where somebody said something, wrote something, seen something. We may have watched something on a YouTube or TikTok video and it's just not correct or accurate. And we're going to correct it. It's up to you, the viewer, to accept what we're showing you as the truth or research it or prove us wrong. Um, we do this for history purposes and hopefully it, it works out and you'll have a better understanding. Um, I saw a YouTube video the other day and uh, the YouTube uh, YouTuber said, after the feud, Hatfields and McCoys took their show on the road and reacted the feud. Well, if you believe that, I'll go with the old Arizona, beachfront property in Arizona, Joe. After the feud, the Hatfields and McCoys took their show on the road and reacted mm -hmm. uh, for people. The uh, Randall McCoy, the feud never ended for Randall McCoy. He lost his children. Um, there was no, there was no making up for Randall McCoy. There was no way you could make up six deaths right. of his children and uh, everything that had happened to him. His wife been beat and the cabin burned. So right. uh, after the feud, the feud didn't end for Devil Lance and Randall McCoy or at least for Randall McCoy until 1914 when he died. Um, Devil Lance, you know, he went to his grave with warrants still on him from Kentucky. You know, the other day, I'm sorry, I'm drifting, but it's all right. if all come to me, the other day I was at the uh, monument on Blackberry Creek at the, Blue, at the uh, Blackberry Fish Pond where they've got Devil Lance Hatfield <clears throat> on the front of the monument put up by the tourism people in Pike County. And, you know, the funny thing is, it just hit me just now when I, I thought about these warrants been out. It's funny that they put Devil Lance Hatfield and even Johnsey on this monument. They got Randall McCoy facing the hillside. But Devil Lance Hatfield and Johnsey Hatfield were never back in Kentucky, or that we know of, or at least, I think Johnson went and visited Rosanna maybe a couple of times at, at uh, my great-great-grandmother's house, St. Mm -hmm. Betty's house in Uriah, mm -hmm. up Aflax. But <clears throat> as far as being on Blackberry, there, there would have been no reason for them to have ever been on Blackberry again. So after the uh, killings of the three McCoy boys, they're never ever black on, back on Blackberry Creek but yet they have their pictures on a monument on Blackberry Creek. They, they could never come back to Kentucky because there was the, uh, the warrants on, on Devil Ants till the day he died. There were still outstanding warrants for murder, for murdering the three McCoy boys. So for this YouTuber to say, after the feud, the Hatfields and McCoys took their show on the road, re reacting the feud. How do you react to feud? You know, I, but anyway, that was the story that the person said. Um, <clears throat> this is a newspaper. Um, newspapers covered Devil Ants on anything he did, from Vaughnville shows to having bears as pets, yet they never covered the so-called dedication of the monument. In short, there was no monument dedication. He simply set the monument himself, and that's why there's no news clippings. Now, I know Sheila says I'm beating a dead horse. I want to reiterate, this is one of my things that's really aggravated the West Virginia Hatfields, or at least Devil Ants Hatfields, Hatfields over the years. And that is because they falsified the information mm -hmm. that they sent to Washington, D.C. to the National Historic Society. And they said the monument was put there five years later by his family and so forth. And it was. And it was there. Devil Lance put it there, according to Joe, his son. And uh, according to pictures, photographs. But 
you know, and I've never elaborated on this, I just want to touch. Isn't it funny that devil ants could run a bear up a tree and they'd take a picture? He could uh, uh, do anything and there was a picture of it. He could get his family together and everybody from five years old on up had guns. Right here it is. <clears throat> a picture with him and his family, all of them with guns. He's got pictures standing beside the cheers. He's got devil ants. If there was a, a camera around, devil ants was in the lens. I told somebody one time, they said, why they couldn't they never get devil ants? And I said, well, he's always hiding in them caves up there. There's caves everywhere. And uh, they said, looks like they could have caught him. I said, they could have. If somebody would just brought a camera out, if he seen a camera, he'd come. He was like a deer in the headlights when a camera was around. But anyway, the correction here is, and I've never covered it in the other videos, and I, I wanted to touch base on it. Just remember that do you think that all these people that got dressed up for this picture downstairs where they talk about and they say, well, no, that, that picture there is the dedication, the picture that we show as the funeral and his monument there. And they said, no, that's the dedication of the monument. And we said, well, they wore the same clothes on that day. <clears throat> and they said, oh, no, no, that's different. Okay, why did they dress up for and get all cleaned up and spiffed up and you're telling me that not even one newspaper, especially the Logan Banner, the Logan Banner right there at them, Devil Ants could let off gas and they would they would cover it. So I don't buy that. That there was never, there ha never has been a monument dedication, contrary to what. And if there was, please don't say actually. Just show proof. Show us something with proof. All right, this concludes another segment of Keeping It Real with Fred and Sheila McCoy. Thanks for joining us. Please like and subscribe. Thank you all. Thank you.